everyone welcome to the new year 2021 we all say happy new year it's not a particularly happy new year unfortunately but welcome back to the flip-flop vlog so here we are it's now a week into the new year which was an anticlimax london was closed just before new year and no fireworks it was a pre-recorded display and uh, just wasn't the same, no crowds, just, yeah, not the same. Christmas, we did our best to uh, enjoy. Just to update you, David's now home from Crawley. Mad rush on the morning of New Year's Day when uh, mum got a phone call to say he was coming home. And a big confusion initially trying to come home in a taxi. All a bit of a nightmare, but he's home now and uh, hopefully we'll see him very soon um, because he's in our bubble. So, a couple of days ago, we went into the third UK lockdown. Still doesn't feel like the first one, but it's supposed to be. You can't go into bars and restaurants, but they can deliver. Takeaways are still running. Essential food shops and people are still supposed to be putting everything down to a minimum travel essential work only hasn't been that much of a noticeable change in the traffic and unfortunately people are still out and about not wearing masks in the street people just don't seem to get it this new 7th and 8th mutation of Covid is devastating the amount of people suddenly influxing into the hospital in my last couple of shifts was just mind-blowing it was unprecedented very very difficult to manage and this time around we've got a lot of staff off sick that's making it challenging we haven't got the additional staff from all the outpatients that were closed because they're still running so we're on reduced staff about 20 percent less of our nursing staff probably a 50% uptake on income uh, incoming patients so yeah it's just devastatingly fast how quickly this is changing and there seems to be new patterns to it people are getting this um, now long covid um, patients suffering with respiratory problems are younger and there definitely seems to be a pattern that people are going downhill after their two weeks of isolation having been uh, tested positive two weeks prior so that's not looking good either on a positive note for us i did my first vaccination shift yesterday uh, vaccinating the local people in crawling around at the local covid center so that was good it was just nice to feel like you're doing something for your community so yeah, that, that, was, that was good. It was all second doses, which was also good because the government are now postponing second doses for a little while. Bit of a controversial thing. We're not quite sure how that's going to pan out at the moment. Um, but then we don't even know how the uh, Pfizer's going to react to the new strains at the moment either. So everything's all a little bit iffy. But obviously the better protected you are, the more hopefully safe you are. On that note, Lorna and I have both got our vaccines today. So I'm heading into work in a moment to see Occupational Health to have mine. And Lorna's got hers this afternoon before she comes home. So that'll be good. So in that sense, everything's um, positive. It's just horrible at work. I'm off for a few days now and it's a well-deserved and needed break. It's, it's getting exhausting at, at work. And unfortunately, every day another member of staff is going off sick, uh, which is obviously sad. And um, hopefully, everyone else is okay. Uh, I know we've got a couple in my Masonic Lodge that are suffering with COVID, but hopefully, they're through the worst of it now. And uh, wishing them well, obviously. So, off out to get my vaccine and speak to you later. So, that all went nice and smoothly pain free, uh, nice, quick, 15 minute recovery time afterwards and then you're out. And um, yeah, so touch wood, no pain. 
um, all good so hopefully in about 12 weeks I'll have the next one um, I'm going to show you the figures now for the UK they're not great um, we hit a new record yesterday in a bad way 1,000 deaths in the day um, tragic this is really really sad so not a really good start to the new year but hopefully with the vaccine and if everyone stays at home and puts a mask on then maybe we'll have half a fighting chance we'll see just waiting for long to come home good morning everyone so the jab wasn't so bad a bit of an achy arm this morning but uh, it's a small price to pay for being vaccinated so yeah hopefully that's all there uh, gonna go well next one now is planned for about 10 weeks apparently I should hear um, I'll wait and see we'll have to find out they're delaying them a little bit just so that they can get them rolled out so far so now this morning I'm heading off into Dorking to my osteopath who's apparently still trading practicing um, and we'll see what Dorking's like this morning. Also going to get a couple of hooks, but um, yeah, that's no biggie. And then we'll see what the rest of the day has in store. Bit of relaxation, bit of study. Almost a work in town, probably home about six. Make dinner and hopefully a chilled evening. See you later. So here we are in Dorking. Got my new jacket on that Lorna bought me for Christmas. Very comfortable, very nice. And uh, just heading off to the osteopath now. Even cleaned the car yesterday, I don't think I mentioned that. Um, yeah, so just to jet wash all the trims and everything up here. But uh, soon gets dirty again. Mind you, it hasn't done too bad today, considering I've just drawn, done all the country roads to, to Dorking. So, let's see who's out and about, if anyone's out and about, and if they're wearing any masks. <coughs> it's a lovely little area, this. Not many people here. <coughs> Things actually seem all closed again. Yesterday we had a big clear up out here. The old broken cold frame has been taken. We'll have to get a new one. Just kept the base that we lovingly made for it. 
took all the dead heading away and just now I wait for spring spring you know It's a cold and frosty morning. I think my arm's just about recovered from the COVID vaccine, thankfully. Um, yeah, there's not much more going on at the moment. So, before we end this quick update, and it was just really a, a brief update on COVID, I'm going to re-put the latest figures in because it's now a couple of days further down the line. But today we're just having a a lazy Sunday. Um, one of my family is in hospital with COVID quite poorly so uh, got a lot on my mind at the moment and don't really feel like vlogging today but um, we're gonna have a nice roast gammon dinner um, so I just thought I'd show you us putting that together so here we go. So, some gammon in the slow cooker, some nice stuffing balls, we have carrots and sprouts and cauliflower to steam, and we're just doing some potatoes, we're boiling the potatoes now. So the trick with lovely roast potatoes is to get them parboiled, about 10 minutes on boiling, no more and then drain them out and give them a good old shake in the pan. Just enough to break up the edges a little bit. If you've overcooked the potatoes too much, they'll fall apart. Uh, so you just need them slightly firm with uh, broken up fluffy edges slightly. And then you just let them steam, steam cool. And about an hour later, you wanna put some oil in the oven. Um, goose fat is the best. Um, but I only use that at Christmas. Get some oil in the oven and um, get that really nice and hot. So then you put your potatoes into that and I normally have some, some garlic cut up in that oil and some homegrown rosemary. But you could kind of put anything that you like in there really but rosemary is absolutely perfect with potatoes. You can either leave the whole stalk in there and put that in the oil it will infuse or you can uh, take the rosemary uh, leaves off of the stalk and crush them up whichever you like today i'm probably going to leave the stalks on i think but um, i'll see how i feel when i get that far we'll keep you updated some white cabbage some turnip and parsley So oh, there we have our potatoes boiled for 10 minutes. Uh, just drain them and now I'm going to shake them but I can't show you that and hold the camera so I'll give them a shake and you can see. So the ones at the back there are perfect. These ones at the front here were a little bit overdone and that's what happens if you cook them for too long so don't. Just got to let them steam now. So it's all prepped and on the side and ready to go. And now we can say good morning to Lorna. Good morning. I've got patches on my eye. <laughs> She's on her beauty regime, but I did tell her that I was getting a camera out this morning. How was your Good morning? How was guys. your vaccination? Yeah, it was alright. Uh, of course the beginning, you guys did like trepidations but you know, it all went well and then after that after a few hours of the vaccination you could feel a sensation like there is something like a throbbing sensation on your arm but then um, I was worried Friday it gave me like 
a very not a good reaction because I was feeling body malaise and like lethargic but I think that must be the adverse effects and then yeah the pain and the throbbing in your arm you can still feel that but now today I don't feel anything now so yeah hopefully that has disappeared so probably those are the adverse effects that you would feel after the vaccination but at least it's good we've got some form some kind of form of immunity but obviously until we get the second dose of vaccine which will chill very soon I suppose so so yeah there you have it so I encourage you guys to get your vaccines done as soon as we can to deal with the spread or control the spread of this virus so yeah stay safe everyone and just showing you her orchid started blooming the other day so she's very happy about that it's looking a lot better now that someone took some loving care over it that'd be me we have plants everywhere in this house and philip seems to have got one of his little skin infections again where have you gone oh yeah you're over here so um he's back with his collar on philip say hello Hello. <laughs> Hello. I know that collar's really annoying, isn't it? His spatial awareness goes out the window. He can't see what he's doing. <laughs> he's he struggles in and out of his litter box, but hey, he's got a new little patch down here. So we're Maybe trying to sort that out. Yeah. Any so. Any cat lovers out there that know? Apparently, the vet seems to think that he's allergic to fleas because they found some flea dirt on him despite him having the medication and also despite him having a new collar as well um, he still seems to have got another one and he gets this skin infection and it costs us an awful lot of money to have him jabbed and this is the third time now in a year um, and the second time in no fourth time now isn't it because he had two together recently so uh, yeah, it's getting costly and obviously we don't like having to kick him in but it looks like that might be the way forward and we certainly don't like having to put a collar on him so any of you guys got any thoughts out there you never know a vet might happen to watch this vlog no idea why but they might um, yeah tell us if you've got any uh, helpful suggestions comments down below subscribe somewhere up here hit the bell we'll tell you when Please we're gonna like get subscribe. the next one. <laughs> now just waiting for dinner. Okay. Have a good day. So the gammon's just fallen apart. I can't really carve it. But it's looking good. And we have a nice gravy cooked in the juices. And it's time to serve. And so we have the final roast dinner. Lorna's having a nice glass of wine with her flip-flop coaster. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs>